classical music and pop music can't mix well. Our next guests are about to prove you wrong. They are international music superstars. They've sold more than 25 million albums over the last seven years, performing Time to Say Goodbye from their new album, A Wicked Game. Please welcome El Devo. <laughs> Quando sono solo sogno all'orizzonte manca le parole Sì lo so che non c'è luce in una stanza quando manca il sole Se non ci sei tu con me, con me su le finestre mostra tutti il mio cuore che ha Acceso, chiudi dentro me la luce che hai incontrato per strada. the members of Il Devo. Welcome. You guys were amazing. <laughs> I, I want to talk about your new album in a minute, but first I think it would be great if you guys could each introduce yourselves and tell us what country you're from. I'm Carlos. I'm the Spanish one with the curl. <laughs> I'm David. I'm the American. Mm -hmm. And I'm Sebastian, the French one. <laughs> and I'm Maurice from Switzerland. Okay. Welcome. Uh, bienvenido. Bienvenido. I don't know how to say. How do you say welcome in Spanish? Uh, bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Okay, good. I don't know why I threw Italian in there. Um, so, uh, can you tell us really quickly how the group got started? 
Well, everything started uh, about uh, eight years ago when Simon was watching one of the shows of the Simon Tennis. Cowell. Yeah, yes, Simon Cowell. Who's and that, that? Is there any other? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Are there other Simons? <laughs> so then, uh, well, he thought that he should start something with with three you know, kind of opera singers. Well, we are. We have three from the opera, one one from the pop, and we just started here eight years ago, wow. and here we are. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, was it difficult though when you when you're actually put together by somebody by a producer, and suddenly they say, "Okay, you guys, you've got a contract, you've got to make an album, get on with each other." It must have been very difficult, different cultures, and you know. Well, I think uh, coming from the classical world, coming from the operatic background, that's not abnormal. Uh, the, the company will hire in their soprano, their baritone, their tenor, and you usually meet the people you're going to be working with for the first time on the first day of rehearsal. I think it was more difficult for Seb. But, but, Vigo, you know, kicks in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but don't you think that when you're in an operatic company, you have given a piece of music, an opera that everybody knows, but you're doing you you your own thing, you're your own entity, you're your own group now. Oh sure, yeah. So yeah. it's away from that. So egos and things must come into it. Well, I know what it's like on this. It was very oh, yes, because we love. <laughs> no, was it was it tough, really? It was very difficult because yeah. we literally met two days before we started recording, and we had a handful of demo tapes, and nobody had an idea how is Ildiva going to sound. Yeah, right. make beautiful music, boys, and then fast track the bonding. <laughs> yeah, and become and best yeah. friends overnight. <laughs> You were speak English at the time. Wasn't there a language barrier between you as well? There was. Uh, yes, there a little were. bit, uh, but it took time, you understand? <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> the truth is... Uh, <laughs> um, and also, the sound is really unique. The idea of blending pop and, and opera. And so, uh, now you have this huge following. Describe a typical Il Divo fan. Ah, uh, Carlos, you're probably the best. He's the single one. He gets all the, the, the knickers and stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> knickers! Uh, yeah, the knickers! The underwear! Underwear in English. <laughs> yeah, we have very uh, yeah. devoted fans. We're very lucky, actually. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, nowadays, we never take things for granted. So being able to do what we do and having, you know, such a following, and they're always here when we perform, and. Uh, it's it's a really honor, and we're coming back here actually in February. Oh, great! Uh, is it May? In May. 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 In May. Well, people, the album is out right now. I want to thank you guys for being here. Il Divo's world tour returns to the U.S. in May, but their album Wicked Game is in stores right now, and everyone in our studio audience is getting a copy.